Hello and welcome to this e-learning session called Working with Audio. Today we'll be learning how to record our voices in GarageBand and export them into iTunes where we can burn them to a CD that we can give to others. My name is Dan Medwin, I'm the e-learning intern and I'll be guiding you through this process. We'll start with opening GarageBand. Now if you don't see a, a window like this come up, it may mean you've started another project. So what you'll want to do is under the file menu select new or you can press command N on a Mac. This will create this little window that pops up and from here we will pick new music project. Now we get to choose a name. This should be the individual tracks that you're going to have or want on your final CD. For example if you're doing a prayer CD one track will be for each prayer. Shema, Via Hafta, Avot, Via Mahot, etc. Uh, if you're doing a a collection of trope for a Torah reading, um, you may want to do it a verse at a time. In this case, our example is going to be the Ahafta, so we'll type that in. Here you can also choose where the file should be saved. If you have any folders, you can access them on the left column here. Um, for now, we'll just stick with the default. Now click Create. GarageBand will open up with a few default settings that we'll have to change before we can get going. Um, this grand piano here, just close that up. And this track here, we're going to, going to delete. Uh, go up under the track menu and click delete track. This is also command delete. Now we're going to make a new basic track that's also under the track menu. And this is where we are going to be recording uh, each track of the ultimate CD. In this case, the example is via Hafta, so we'll begin recording via Hafta. The way we do that is we go down to the bottom of the screen, this round record button, and we start singing. Via Hafta, Eid Adonai Elohecha, Vichol Levavcha, Uvichol Nafshecha, Uvichol Meodecha. When you're done recording, hit spacebar to stop. Now we'll want to review what we've recorded to make sure it's what we want. To do so, we click at the, the bottom of the screen on the horizontal bar, and we drag it all the way back to the beginning. Now to put the cursor at the beginning, we click at the top in the timeline, and this red bar shows us what time we're on. Hit space bar to begin listening to what you recorded. Presuming that the clip is OK, we're going to move on to the next step. If it's not OK, and there are some changes you want to make, you can either delete the track and try again, or if there are minor changes, you can see the how-to document uh, for more detailed explanation of how to make those minor adjustments. For now, we're going to assume it's OK, and then we're going to go up to Share, the Share menu, and send the song to iTunes. iTunes should open automatically and may even start playing the track you just recorded. What we want to do now though is to create a playlist which will lay out the tracks in order for the CD we are making. To start we go under iTunes up to the file menu and, sele and select new playlist. You can also press command N. We're going to title this playlist Blessings. And this should be the title of the CD that you are currently making and in this example that's the case. Now we want to add the track we just recorded to the Blessings playlist. To do that, there are a number of ways we can do it. One of the simplest is to go to the, the automatic playlist called Recently Added. Click on that. There's the track we just recorded. And we're going to drag that into the playlist Blessings on the left-hand column. Now when we click in Blessings, there's the track that we've just created. Now we have our first track recorded. We need, to, we need to go back to GarageBand to complete this process for each additional track we want. Once we're back in GarageBand, we're going to go up to the File menu and select New. If you haven't already done so, you'll be asked to save that file. Click New Music Project, and now we name the next track we're working on. Let's call this one Avot Imahot. Click Create. Now that we're back in GarageBand, we repeat the steps we did earlier by closing the grand piano and deleting this track and selecting a new basic track. We repeat these steps, ultimately sharing the songs by sending them to iTunes 
and adding them to the playlist in iTunes. Once you've completed this process a number of times, you should have a full list of tracks, blessings, or verses that you'd like to burn to a CD. You can reorder them here if for some reason they're not in the correct order, either through importing them or creating them in a different order. Once the list is in the order that you'd like, at the bottom right hand corner we're going to click on the button called Burn Disc. It's important to note there are three different possible CDs you can make here. We're going to focus on the top two, Audio CD and MP3 CD. An Audio CD can work in a regular CD player but ultimately can fit fewer songs or tracks onto the CD. In MP3 CD, the, the files are smaller and can be easily imported into an iPod or other MP3 player. It's important to consider your audience and what they might be most familiar with. Once you've selected what you're going to burn, in this case an MP3 CD, click on the Burn button. It's going to ask you to insert in a blank disk. Make sure you have them ready and put it in. It's going to initialize the disk and continue with the burning process. Congratulations, you're done. You'll know it's completed when the, you hear a ding and in the devices column you see the, the title of the CD you just created. You want to click on it just to make sure that the tracks work and even play them. To burn another CD, repeat the same steps. Click the burn disk button in the bottom of the corner, insert another blank disk, and let the computer do the rest. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned how to record yourself, import it into iTunes, and burn it to a CD that you could give to others. Have a great day.